Um, got this hat at the San Diego Zoo just last week. So the one thing that I've noticed that makes a video look both professional and cinematic is the presence of a blurry background. We see this everywhere in TVs and in movies. You'll see a subject that's in focus and then a background that's blurry, much like this shot right here. Now, how exactly do cameras do this? Well, let's recap, but first, intro. <laughs> So if you haven't watched my video on camera basics where I go over on how to expose properly, watch that video first before watching the rest of this video so that way this video can make sense. Link in the description below. So in photo and video when we see a subject that's in focus and a very blurry background, that is a product of what's going on inside the lens. When the lens's aperture is wide open, it's going to do two things. One, it's going to let in tons of light, so that way it's going to brighten up the scene. And two, it's going to give a very shallow depth of field. If you're not familiar with what depth of field is, it's simply the area of what's going to be in focus. So when we say shallow depth of field, we're going to make the area of what we want in focus very shallow, very narrow, very small. So that way everything is going to be sharp in this area. Everything outside that area is going to be super blurry. With a deeper depth of field, we're going to increase the amount of area of what's going to be in focus. We're going to narrow the opening of the aperture. It's going to be a higher f-stop, f-16, something like this. That's going to have a lot in focus. It's going to have a lot of things in front of the lens sharp and very little blurry which is not what we want when we want a cinematic look. What we want is a very blurry background and or foreground so that way we get that cinematic movie look. And you would think that's easy enough to do. You just open up your aperture as wide as it goes and then boom, blurry background. But what would happen if you had to film outdoors and the sun is the main light source? We all know the sun is bright as hell so you could bet your ass you're going to be very overexposed. Oh, but can't I just adjust the ISO and shutter if I want to keep the aperture wide open for that blurry background? No, and here's why. For video, you want your shutter speed to be double your frame rate. If I'm shooting at 24 frames per second, I want my shutter speed to be somewhere around 48. 24 times two is 48. The closest shutter speed I could get to 48 on this camera is a shutter speed of 1 50th. And that allows for that natural motion blur that you see. If I crank up the shutter speed, now my shutter speed is 1 60 or 1 60th of a second. I didn't change my f-stop, I'm still at f 2.8, so that way I'm still in focus and the background is still fairly blurry. And I increased the ISO just to adjust for the exposure so that way you can still see me. But now you see that I lost that motion blur. My fingers look very choppy, very jittery. Shutter speed is now back to double the frame rate and that looks a lot better. It looks more cinematic. Now because the shutter speed has to remain constant for the frame rate that you're shooting in, you can adjust using shutter speed and if you want to maintain that blurry background, you cannot adjust using your aperture, which only leaves us with ISO to try to expose properly. And even at your lowest ISO setting, the sun is still going to be too bright. So how do we fix this? This is an ND filter, neutral density filter. Easiest way that I could explain this is that it is sunglasses for your lens. Now this is a variable ND filter, so as I twist this, the sunglasses get darker. When it's very sunny out and you want cinematic shots, that blurry background with a wide open aperture, ND filters is going to save your footage. I just got back from a week long trip in California where it was very sunny. God, the weather there was beautiful. Let's see what kind of cinematic shots I was able to get using an ND filter. <laughs> Let's see, I had a subject that was in focus and had a blurry background. Looks professional to me. 
If you found this video at all helpful, don't be shy to hit that like button. If you want to see more, do subscribe. And if you have any questions, I'll try to read them in the comments below. Peace.